We're here at Webster Outlying Field because almost 10 years ago today, we flew the MQ-8B for the first time. Since that time, we've brought both the MQ-8B and the MQ-8C through production and development, and we've flown MQ-8B over 15,000 hours in the fleet. Fire Scout came to Webster because it has a great combination of being close to our engineering center, but also having the airspace necessary to test unmanned air vehicles. Uh, we've tested unmanned air systems here for many, many years, so it was a logical choice to start when we had the MQAB. Since then, we've invested in infrastructure, we've grown the expertise on the test team, and we're finding that it's still the combination of range infrastructure, uh, airspace overhead to allow unrestricted unmanned air system operations uh, has really allowed us to be effective in getting our testing done. Down here at Webster, our Fire Scout team is responsible for the, the test and operation of these vehicles. So we have test engineers, uh, we have the air crew that fly the test events, we have a large maintenance team that supports all the equipment. Uh, we also have part of our ship integration team that designs and builds our mission control station and provides support for that aspect of the, of the program. One of the things that we did in designing this system was to really make it a flexible platform to allow us to put new payloads on. Uh, and we continue to see new payloads coming in and the requirement to test and verify that they work, work on that integration. So we'll continue to fly both the B and C, both here in test and in the fleet for many years to come.